Hey, what's up everybody, Z here. Today I'm going to do a quick tank update. Um, haven't done an update for a while. So, yeah, let's just get started. Uh, let's start with the LPS site. Um, as expected, uh, the torch core is doing fine. Uh, car ratio is pretty good. And, um, yeah, so they are just constantly splitting. Um, I'm just hoping they can uh, grow faster. Well, um, and as for bounce mushrooms, it just, uh, again, just growing too fast. They're just connected in this little spot. Um, there were two mushrooms escaped. Um, I kind of just pulled them out and made it into a, a frag. Um, nothing special. Uh, uh, and also, the bizarros that Fasha put here um, a while back start to cross in on the rock, so that's that's good news. Um, yeah, as for the clam, it's just constantly changing place right now. Uh, I'm not sure they it it might really. Hopefully, it's not ruling on the bottom of the tank. Otherwise, I can't really move it. Um, hopefully, yeah. All right, let's get to the SPS site. There isn't too much to update. Uh, it's just the pink lemonade here. It's growing, uh, slowly growing into a colony here. Yeah, so as the colony gets larger and larger, uh, it's gonna grow faster and faster. Another one is the Walt Disney. Uh, as you can see, uh, the full coloration of Walt Disney is showing up. Um, almost thought like I got a fake Walt Disney, but uh, as you can see, the coloration is pretty awesome. It's just pure rainbow color. Um, and start to finally shoot out some uh, growths. Hopefully it can uh, pick up some speed. I think it finally adapt to my water parameters. So yeah, um, now it's really have a high potential to grow into a big colony. As for the rest of the colonies, there isn't too much change. Um, the Sunset Mini is getting some color back, so that's uh, good news. And uh, as for this section, again, this section is just growing like crazy. They're touching each other again. I have to go in to just trim the uh, part that they're touching, and uh, hopefully they grow to its own direction. So instead of growing into each other well yeah um yeah nothing isn't too much up there on this side other than every book of course growing like crazy um yeah it just haven't really got a chance to trim it um let's get to this side hammer hammers are doing good um they're yeah, just fluffy um i guess they enjoy the uh kind of middle to slow flow here, um, yeah. Isn't much on this side as well. Um, I guess I can just take a look at the corals on the frag. Um, if you don't know, those frags are coming from my friend as a rescue. Uh, right now they are going into car smaller colonies, I guess, especially this orange passion. I think this is the full coloration of the orange passion. I can't believe, um, you won't believe it's an orange passion when I got it. So right now, really happy to see it becomes a really healthy, small colony. Uh, yeah, I think the frags are showing those uh, full coloration right now. Um, well, still a couple of them uh, doesn't really grow much. Um, hopefully they can Finally, pick up some speed. Um, yes, for the uh, if you can see the space invader here, uh, I kind of moved a little. I moved it around so it works under that rock here, but I move into uh, further out so it gets more light. But um, I think it just pisses it off, or maybe it got too much light here. Um, 
it's not as fluffy and lose some color uh, I'll keep a close eye on it uh, just make sure it doesn't uh, yeah, it doesn't die um, yeah hopefully it can recover some uh, or it just hopefully can adapt to this place uh, as fast as possible mm. also this side nothing too much other than stuff are growing out of control um, and the new shoots especially this body green slammer I uh, start to go in on top of the uh, red planet and uh, yeah hopefully it doesn't go crazy here um, golden rod is becoming a kind of a small colony to touch um, I mean touching start to touch this coral here but uh, so far so good I mean I might have uh, I mean a couple months before before they touch um, yeah then I'll just start trimming um, yeah nothing too much the fox flame uh, right now is just going crazy um, as I said the SPS colonies as they get bigger they just grow faster um, yeah Right now, I think I think I think the uh, fast flame is just uh, out of control because uh, it's growing into those bunch of corals. Um, I really need to just go in and trim them, and it's really hard for them to trim because they just grow too dense, and those colonies just growing into each other. Um, yeah, I really hope fast flame can grow towards the glass more. Um, Mm, all right, that's the update on this side. Um, maybe you can take a look at the uh, the sump. Um, this is just some update to the refugium. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. The the dragon's breast macroalgae is growing out of control um i think i have better success with uh dragon's breast it's just too dense right now it almost i already dumped like 50 percent of this last week so i think they they grow faster for me um than the cheddar so you can take a look inside yeah, it's pretty dense. Um, I already took out about 50% of those last week. Um, you, if you also don't have any success with Cheddar, maybe you just try uh, Dragon's Breath because they can do, um, they do much better in a low flow environment uh, than Cheddar. If you don't have much flow in your refugian um, and you don't have much success with Cheddar, just try, maybe try Dragon's Breath. Um, uh, and in my opinion, it's much cleaner than uh, than Trado. Uh, Dragon's Breath doesn't really break out as much e as easily as uh, Trado. All right, um, I think that's all for the update. Thanks for watching. See you next time.